I was fucked up. Crying nigga, you know what I mean? I'm on the highway like this hurt. I had to pull over. I could have got killed on the on the on the expressway. Like, you know, when I heard it, cause it was like when you know something's wrong with one of your brothers and you see him going down and, and you see him going down, but there's no way that you could really save him and then you hear it. It's like you almost predicted it and it's so fucked up when you predict shit because you never know. You could bring you could bring certain worlds into your life. You know what I mean? If you keep predicting shit or, or thinking shit's gonna happen. So yeah, yeah, touch me, man. Come on, man. This a nigga that this was our this was our leading guy, man. You know what I mean? It's the guy that put the spirit in all of us, my nigga. Like real talk, for real. He put the spirit in me. So when I heard, yeah, I'm crying my heart out, raced up to the studio. Yeah, seen him on the floor, flattened, flattened, oh, stiff. You actually went to where? It was. Yeah, I, I ran right up there. You know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? I was on my way in the city anyway. But when I heard, it was like. And it happened in the studio, so I'm like automatically, let me let me go over there, man. Cause this is some shit I can't really believe. And yo, I walked upstairs, boom, 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 fucked up, you know what I mean? And he was there, man. You know what I mean? But he had a smile on his face. Like he had a face of bravery, like, he like was, this is where I wanna go right now, my nigga. I'm like well, he, fucked he, up. So he was smiling as he he didn't have a smile, but he had like a like a face like, yo, this is where I want to walk right now. You know what I mean? Like, for real. I look at niggas' faces when they die, like the last face that, you know, was left. You know what I mean? Because that, that I see niggas mad in the box. You know what I mean? Some niggas get killed over shit, and you see, he know he fucked up. He know he fucked up, and that face is, that face is on him right there. So, you know, yeah, he had a face like... He had a face like, yo, I need to walk, I need to walk this way right now. So, o ODB's problems with drugs was very well, you know, documented. No question. You know, I mean, he went to jail for it. No question. You know, and, you know, um, there was definitely rumors about once he got out, he started using it again and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I don't know what actually happened, but, I mean, someone that was close to him, did you ever sit down with him and say, you know, maybe, maybe you should start to slow down a little bit or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, you know, I mean, someone who loved him, obviously, yeah, like, yeah. yo, like, I care about you. Yeah. Like, and, I, and you know what happens once you start going down a certain type of path. Bro, that's right. Yeah. That's right. You get, you get, you get caught up. But yeah, I mean, it was going on for so long, even before he went to jail. Like, one thing about Dirty is he always, you know, he showed his loyalty to, to the family, but he always had his extended family, which was cats that was always around him. And you know, them niggas, they street niggas. They... They like any other niggas you pick up from the block and, you know, they indulge and, you know what I mean, niggas is doing what they do to get high. It's the same shit. Yo, you want to get high, what you want to do? You want to do this? You want to do that? I'm going to get you whatever. So, you know, he kind of kept them away from us to a degree, you know what I mean? Because he knew that we knew what they was doing to him, you know what I mean? I always look at it like if you run with that flock of niggas and one nigga getting high and two or three niggas getting high and, you know, you might be the last nigga getting high, you and somebody else. But all y'all niggas is fucking fiends now. You know what I mean? In y'all own little way. Hey, nigga, we used to snip blow and, you know what I mean, do what we did or whatever. We was fiends to that. You know what I mean? You a fiend, you a fiend, nigga. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, Dirty had his own lifestyle. And when he came to do work with us, it was like sometimes we had to deal with it. Sometimes we didn't. You know what I mean? Like, I might have been one of the only niggas in the crew. And he told me this a long time ago. He said, yo, Ray, let me tell you something. He said, yo... I'll let any of these woo niggas have it. He said, I, I'll give it to any one of these niggas when it come to standing on what I stand on. But for you, it's like you come so knowledgeable and so, you know, you put me in, you put me where I need to be at and you do it in a way where it's like, yo, I respect it. He never drama me, never drama me for nothing. You know what I mean? Because I come right up and tell him the truth. If you looking stupid or you looking smart. You know what I mean? So me and him always had that relationship, but at the end of the day, we just let a grown man be a grown man. I, I, Gotta let him do that though. But you understand what I'm saying? I, I understand. You let a nigga be who he is because that's who he wanna be. You know what I mean? It's nothing wrong with that, man. I don't take that away from anybody who get high. You know what I mean? But if it's hurting you, then like you said, you gotta stand up and say something, but it's only so much you could tell a nigga. You know, you make that fake ass movie and made a fake ass edit and lied about everything that took part, you know what I mean? But you did it to 
to assassinate me. And believe me, he been getting his worth out of that female. And I heard some about it that in the pre agreement or nothing that he said he want his titties and that booty back if it go down. <laughs> he owned that. 